So once you get your plenum installed on the furnace, and we'll talk a little bit more about the ducting and how to hook it in, commenting it with other furnaces and stuff here in a little bit. But you will get your furnace like this and your low limit thermostat will be mounted here. Now, if your plenum is more than, we say in our manual, 18 inches, but I'd even say if it's more than about 12 or 14, you really want to relocate your low limit thermostat. Now, I took this one out. It would be mounted in here. I would take it out and mount it up here towards the top of the plenum. We really want to be up in the top four inches. So, as I mentioned, I'm going to mount my uh, low limit thermostat up here on the plenum. So instead of using the rigid conduit, I'm going to use flexible conduit. So I'm going to mount it like this here. I just went to my local hardware store and picked this up. And then I'll put some clamps on here to hold it in place so it's a nice, neat installation. This here is the low limit thermostat. It's generally called a snap switch. Uh, these uh, are, uh, they're actually quite reliable. Um, this low limit thermostat, this is what turns the blower on and off. It's the on off switch for the blower. Um, and then we also have what's called the high limit thermostat. The high limit thermostat is what a lot of people call a fan control. It's made by Honeywell. That gets mounted down here. We use this as a safety device. Now, because we're using this as a safety device, always make sure the white button is pulled out. Okay, now I've removed the, the original uh, low limit as it was delivered to you. If you recall, this conduit was mounted here. The low limit was uh, through the skin right here. I took the low limit thermostat out of here and I put a metal patch on here to block the air from coming out when the blower's on. And I put the low limit thermostat up here. Now, when you're doing this, remember to turn, don't have the power on, this is 120 volt. Anything inside a conduit or a box on the vapor fire is 120 volt. So I put the low limit up here. These wires are not directional. You can reverse them, it doesn't matter. Uh, and this comes back, and I just put a flexible conduit on here and I came back to the fan relay box at the back. Now, I mentioned the low limit thermostat when it is packed inside the furnace when you receive it, it's going to be in a box like this. And it uh, has an 11 inch probe that goes into the plenum. And if you notice in the operator's manual, you should mount the, the hole should be seven and a half inches up from the plenum or from the furnace and six and a quarter inches this way. So this is where you want it. I just used a simple hole saw like this and just very carefully drilled. Uh, you only need a 7 8 inch hole. I didn't have one. I used an inch and an eighth. It works fine. So once you have your high limit thermostat mounted and screwed into the plenum, um, please make sure you do not change any of the settings. These settings are preset at the factory. And if you do mess with them, I'm going to tell you, if you turn this, if you move these uh, little tabs in here without holding this, you will destroy the low limit or the high limit thermostat. You must hold this. And then they should, the little tabs should be set at 100, 220, and 250. And again, we're not using this necessarily to control the fan. We're using this as a safety device to take control away from you if you do something that might overheat the furnace. 